Because you don't only need to learn education in school. But then I digress. I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker said Nike swoosh, white cocaine, cocaina. <laughs> Y'all see it? Y'all! Oh, I'm out of focus! Hello! What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. Hey, God! Fuck, I know what y'all are thinking, I know what y'all are thinking, I know what y'all are thinking. Nigga, where the listening? Bro, did my fucking computer just blue screen? I swear to God it just did. I know y'all heard that pop. Yo, I got my smoothie. We, we starting to eat healthy, so. That bitch kind of thick, I ain't gonna lie to you. So today, today we got fucking, today we got snot. Now... And y'all niggas know what's crazy to me? It's crazy to me. Everyone and their mother and their penis is doing listening to for the first time now. I know I ain't started, but goddamn bitch, is it not a coincidence? I don't fucking know. Because I know niggas probably been doing this shit before me, but I just don't know them. So fuck it. I'm going to just go ahead and sit here, shut the fuck up, and drink my smoothie. In the last two years, with only a microphone in his room and an Instagram page, Snot has been making an undeniable wave in Florida. Okay, so he's from, from Florida. The 21-year-old rapper first saw success as his bubble trap single, Wavy as Fuck, gained him the attention of the South Florida scene. Motivated by a social media fan base that began to grow by each day, Snot recently released SoundCloud gems with rising stars such as Kill Me Bitch with Lil Toe. Yo, my nigga, these Lil's, are, they're getting out of hand. It's out of reach at this point, bro. Lil Toe, lovely with sus in the exploding Case 19 with Josiah, that's what we heard. Following on the success of his breakout single, Gosha, South Florida's underground sensation is exploding in front of our his cult fans' eyes over dark trap beats that are ready to boom across the stages of festivals like Rolling Loud, Snot spits extremely witty bars along with infectious hooks with a dedicated fan. Yo, I'm so sorry for reading this so long. I'm so sorry. I'm going to just go ahead and stop that right there. I'm just extremely excited for this shit. So let's get into this shit. We in 2019. We in 2019, right? We in 2019 and we still cannot disregard the fact that the fucking that the fucking Seahawks did not run the fucking ball for the touchdown. Snot, wavy as fuck. Trust me. Ooh! Let them know. Let them know you're talking that shit. Yo, spit that. Yo, this shit start off cold already. Oh my. Who's on the fucking beat? Pierre, would you come out here? Hey, that beat is colder than a bitch though. It's better than hearing these these um three hit beat trap beats. It's better than that. Yes, mom. Okay, see ya. Okay, see ya. I did not mean that. I did not mean that. Yo, okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all niggas ever be drinking? <laughs> Do y'all ever be up in y'all room? Y'all be watching TV, right? Y'all be listening to some music. So y'all starting to eat, right? And the show comes on. 
you look at your food, you look at your drink, and you just think, should I drink this to this? Should I eat to this? Because I kind of don't, I kind of don't want to drink my shit and eat my food to this when I'm not entertained. It be like that sometimes. You be drinking your drink, and then you be thinking like, do I want to waste my eating on this i'm i'm a little mixed on that one i don't my nigga said i'm so wavy i might <laughs> i'm so wavy i might just need a boat diving in that pussy from coast to coast oh man but so far i mean decent okay 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 I, hey the production on that bitch fire F fire Fire. Snot. It really be like that sometimes, bro. I remember one time I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich and I was watching something. I was in, I was, I was sad as shit at the end because it's like, damn, did I really just eat my, did I really just eat my chicken sandwich to that? I was, yo, that ass snot, I was about to agree with you. My nigga said, hey, he said, he said, fuck school, I don't fuck with rules. If you, if you in school, stay in school, well, hey, if you want to go to school, go, well, at least graduate high school, at least, dude. <laughs> at least graduate high school, bro. If you don't want to go to college, then bitch, don't go. But if you want to go to college, then nigga, go to college. Simple. It's that simple. If you have a fucking career that needs college, then bitch, guess what? Take your little skimpy ass up on to college, get your education, and yeah. But if you don't want to go to college, that's fine. You can still be successful without college. At the end of the day, when you graduate college, at the end of the day, all that is is just a certification that you graduated college. Real nigga shit with Mr. Educational God. Because you don't only need to learn education in school. But then... I digress. I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker said Nike swoosh, white cocaine, cocaina. <laughs> oh my god. And this fucking this fucking genius post needs to make a quick revision. Why did I just sound like n no racial, like a fucking Japanese Chinese person like that? Like y'all heard the way I said quick? I said like quick, quick. And yeah, someone on this genius page. Yeah, we're in the year of 2019. We're in the hashtag Me Too movement. Y'all cannot hear sees snot raping. Let's go ahead and switch that up really fast because we're in 2019. Niggas, n n you go for a hug nowadays. You got a request for a hug nowadays. Y'all, y'all niggas know how the the niggas up in uh, up in France. You know, you know the niggas probably think that's like sexual assault now, or like niggas gonna have to ask like, yo, can we do? Can we do? Do you? Oh man, I swear to God, there's no one is safe. But yo, genius, yo, chop chop, or can I fix that for them? Not, excuse me. Is that your bitch? Is that your bitch? Hi, Kevin! Hi, Kevin! I fucking... Excuse me. Excuse me, bitch! Sir. This nigga can't fucking hear me, bro. I can hear you, nigga. You're not an outcast to me. Uh, excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but is that your bitch? Man, I thought wrong. Dumbass. I wanna fight you niggas, but instead I'll write you I love you every time I fuck your bitch. You smellin' my cologne. I'm flexing on you niggas. I'm bitch, I fucking so strong. Uh, I think I'm doing those bitch different colors on my stone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Bitch. 
I'm starting to really, I'm all right. I'm starting to soften up a little bit, bit because I'm starting to understand what his style is now. Because like he reminds me, not the music, not the lyrics. He his the voice tone, the tone of his voice reminds me of Night Lavelle. That's the types of sounds that I'm hearing in my ears right now. I'm kind of getting a little bit of Night Lavelle tones in there right now i mean i'm starting to learn that okay i'm starting to learn like okay some songs bro some songs are not meant to be taken serious there are songs that are meant to be like a positive message show talent of wordplay how you construct yourself when a certain beat comes on well mainly just finding pinpointing spots to put yourself in a good position to sound good this is the type of shit that's, you know, all fun and games. It does not, in my opinion, it does not sound bad. I honestly, on, on the game, I feel like the production is like, I feel like the production that's being done is mixing really well with how Snot raps. Because imagine an up-tempo be being on one of his songs. I don't think that will go well. To me, it's de like... <clears throat> We need to have tiers, like, it's decent, like, like, like on the little tierless shits. We need to have, you know, trash, decent, all right, fire, and then it's like, on the way to legend status. And I feel like right now, it's just at a, it's I. Um, snot. Lawsuit. Was that my shit like what? I, no face, no case, I told that bitch to stay away. Hey, stay the fuck away, bitch. No I, face, no case. What the fuck this shit up? Right. He's on some UK drill shit, y'all. He about to kill this girl. Did he just say what I just think he just said? This really done turned into juice. On a serious note, I really feel like he has he has promise. He has the talent to be a big artist, in my opinion. It's not like me saying, you're like, oh, it's trash, it's trash, it's trash. I feel like he has the components to be great. The production that I've heard so far, I've loved the production. The production that I've been hearing on this is different. That's why I'm 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 a return to the I gotta return. I mean I never I never went anywhere, but I really like how when you go to the underground scene, you get more like different styles, different types of diversity of beats. When when I was, you know, just impressed with the production on uh, Wavy as Fuck, it's just like, you don't hear production like this in the mainstream at all. Like, you just hear like, down, 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 down. Now, I did not mean to do the I Iggy Azalea shit, but y'all niggas understand what I'm saying. You get just like the basic three little joints, trap beats. You just you just get the same kind of just stale, boring beats. Oh, man, and then niggas gobble that shit up like a cock. They gobble it up and like, ooh, that's a fire beat. Knowing damn well this sound about basic as a bitch. Fucking, fucking Migos, Lil Baby, Gunna, Future, all them bitch, all them niggas, I'm not gonna call them bitches at all. All them niggas use the same fucking beat, and them niggas stand the shit every time. I'ma listen to that, that song with Sus. Snot X Sus. Lovely. Listen to look up at the sun, but when I see it, I just close my eyes. Shawty wanna love me, but I'm only seeing five niggas on the board. Shit, it's on me. Chop his face. Got a lo fi type B? Okay. But I said it back, I close my eyes. I got hit blue sky. Call my cell phone, I'm busy. You can call back tonight. I'm a wolf sleep by the day. I'm a new light. 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 I'm a new light
Sorry, but the girl from the side of me said I was a boy tonight. I met a bitch off and she said goodbye. I said see you later and I flew to the sky. It's a wave, I can never die. Feeling like I'm James Bond cruising with the black ties. The bitch is trying to play me. I don't think that I am disappointed. I really feel like, you know, like I said, it's not the best. It's not the greatest. It's all right. But it's better than it being all right than me just sitting here just being like, I ain't going to listen to that shit ever again. I am most likely going to go back to Lovely. Like, he has songs that I bang with heavy. But, you know, it's just not to the point where I'm like, yo, like, this is some special talent. Like, to me, it's just... It's just okay, you know? SoundCloud artist coming up in the game, and I respect his hustle, I respect his grind. I, I mean, it's like, you know, I respect and I love when I see people grow and grow this fan base to the point where it's like, you almost worldwide. So, that's the shit that I love, that I love seeing in the rap game. Like, right, we're right in the middle. We're right in the middle. I'm kind of, you know, like, give me some more time and then, you know, I'll maybe come out with a part two, do another one. Cause I kind of feel like doing a part two with this with this series. This be your boy, Mr. 2K God. And I'm out this bitch.